Well, I think uh, one of the enduring things about history is, is the legacy and things that you actually see. Uh, and Norfolk was hugely important in medieval times for the wool trade, so it has a huge amount of uh, wonderful medieval uh, flint churches. Uh, and then the other thing, um, during the course of the Agricultural Revolution, Norfolk became the breadbasket of, uh, of Britain, and um, a lot of large country houses were built on the wealth of that. Norwich was the second city in England from around the Norman Conquest up until the 1780s, and is now full of heritage and historical superlatives. It's the largest wall city in England, twice the size of the city of London, amazingly. Um, it's got the largest number of medieval churches of any city in Northern Europe. And there's so much stuff here of medieval and later provenance that it's an enormous treasure house and I'd say it's Britain's best kept secret. There's a lot to see in terms of buildings and history, um, starting at Castle Acre and Castle Rising, which go all the way back to pre-Norman times. Norwich, of course, is absolutely stuffed with beautiful buildings. And then there are quite a few what you would call stately homes, huge ones, small ones, moated ones. It's, it's a remarkable county. So now we're going into the South Dining Room, uh, where there's a portrait of my four greats grandfather, Thomas William Cook, who was the first Earl of the Second Creation. Um, and this is reputed to be the last portrait that Gainsborough painted. And then here we have a state Rolls Royce, which is a classic royal vehicle, I would guess. It's, uh, it retired in 2002, so it's been with us for a few years. OK, so we're about to go and find one of Norwich's best kept secrets. So it was originally a very secure prison, and the most dangerous prisoners were held here. Kids love all this kind of thing because it's spooky and eerie and secret, but even adults love it. It's one of the best kept secrets in the whole city.